Hi, my name is Sunil Mulchandani and today we are going to talk about the deficiencies in the current data protection platform and how Cohesity solves these, these deficiencies going forward. So, to understand that, let us try and understand what is a typical landscape that we see in the data center today. In the data center today, we have application servers, virtualized environments, database servers, and your production storage deployed, as well as others. But in this case, let us look at what a typical production deployment looks like. We have a virtualized environment, which with a VM farm that's running a typical virtualized workload, application servers and file servers, database to run your mission critical applications, and your primary production storage, which runs all of these various workloads. Now, what happens typically in, in today's data center is the amount of data that is brought in is constantly increasing. And this data needs to be protected at a very fast rate because the business needs are very, very stringent across the lines that you want to protect more data at a faster rate, at a smaller uh, RTO. Now, how are the current backup vendors geared to try and meet that? In my mind, they're not. And here is, here's the reason why. Backup software vendors are built on a legacy architecture. This architecture has not changed for many, many years. Typically, backup software vendors have what are called media servers, metadata or master servers. The, the metadata server is, where, is a centralized repository of where each given backup set is written. The media server is the server that performs these given backups. This data set is then written to what is a target storage, right? How does this all work? As I'm performing backups, I decide to say what given backup is performed by what given media server. So I have to distribute my backup workload across all of these media servers. This data set is then run at various given time intervals and written to a target storage. The job of the target storage is to dedupe and compress that data set. Now, as you can see, as the data volumes grow out here, this architecture cannot scale to meet these needs because there is no scale out build out. So to solve this problem, I need to add more and more media servers, more metadata servers, and more storage servers. And the second problem that we see is they have all a single point of failure. If a metadata server crashes, then there is no way for us to know where that given backup data is. If a media server crashes, there is no way to perform the backup that it was performing. And if the target storage server crashes, then there is nothing that can be written to. Finally, I also deploy multiple different solutions to try and solve this problem. To solve this problem, I may have a backup software to backup VM environments, a different backup software to solve database environments. I may use a different software for archival and a different software for cloud spill. So you have a, a point solutions that are mixed together to form a complete solution. As a result, your manageability and maintenance becomes tougher and it becomes significantly more complex. Finally, what are today's backup software is used for? They are merely used for protecting these data sets as an insurance policy. The business needs today is I want to take the latest production data set and run my test and dev environment off of that. And backup softwares cannot solve that. To overcome that problem, people deploy additional storage environments to run their test and dev environments. Secondly, if I ever have to restore this data set from a target, from my backup, I would have a very costly and time consuming proposition where I will need to find the users to copy that data set which is time consuming and kludgy and does not meet the agility that the business needs. So is there a solution that can meet all of these needs and eliminate many of these different components? And that is what we will talk about how Cohesity does that. Now, as you can see, once the data is brought onto the Cohesity platform, you can run test and dev environments off of the Cohesity platform. So the Cohesity data protection platform is just not an insurance policy. In these, when you run test and dev off of us, we become the primary storage for these test and dev environments. So the question is, how is that possible? As the data is brought into the Cohesity platform, 
our OSS file system that's built on our Snaptree infrastructure ensures that every given snapshot is in a fully hydrated state. So if you ever want to go and instantiate a given backup, it is just point, click and restore. As a result, the RTO is nearly close to zero. So you can now run test and dev environments off of us. As a result, you can also start doing many other things that current backup vendors don't allow, whether that is spinning up a cloned environment for a time period and then destroying it, running it up for backup verification, running it for test and dev purposes, running it for analytic purposes. It now opens a whole new paradigm for users to use this for various different use cases. Why is this not possible with the, with the, with the other vendors? It is really the way we keep our snapshots. If you look at other vendors, when they take snapshots and they take continuous snapshots, they have a limit on how many snapshots they can support. We, have, we, can, we can take unlimited snapshots. Secondly, as you take more and more snapshots, usually older, different vendors have a pointer that points to these snapshots. As a result, you, when you want to restore, you have to transfer that whole tree to understand where these snapshots are. And as a result, the time taken to restore is much, much more complex. The biggest difference on why we can achieve this is because of our snap, Snaptree infrastructure. Snaptree allows you to take infinite number of snapshots and has a fixed depth. As a result, you can basically restore any point of or any snapshot instantaneously. And this helps in the backup use case as I can pick any given snapshot that needs to be restored. So what does Coicity achieve in the data protection platform? One, we've eliminated all of the given different uh, workflows that are needed and we've converged this into a single scalable secondary storage platform.